Good afternoon, uh, this is Cross Country Missions. Uh, me and my brother's out here honoring my mother at, a, at her gravesite. We kind of fixed it up for the Christmas holiday. Uh, we, my brother's been reading a chapter out of the book of Luke, out of the Bible, because there's 24 chapters in the book of Luke. And we've been reading one ever since December 1st, all the way till the 24th. And today we're on chapter 21. Today's the 21st. So we'd like to begin with reading, starting to read uh, chapter 21 of the book of Luke. The widow's offering. As Jesus looked up, he saw the rich putting their gifts into the temple treasury. He also saw a poor widow putting two very small copper coins. Truly, I tell you, he said, this poor widow has put in more than all the others. All these people gave their gifts out of their wealth. But she, out of the poverty, put in all she had to live on, the destruction of the temple and signs of the ends. Some of his disciples were remarking about how the temple was adorned with beautiful stones and with gifts dedicated to God. But Jesus said, As for what you see here, the time will come when not one stone will be left on another. Every one of them will be thrown down. Teacher, they asked, When will these things happen? And what will be the sign that they are about to take place? He replied, Watch out that you are not deceived, for many will come in my name, claiming I am he. And the time is near. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and uprisings, do not be frightened. These things must happen first. But the end will not come right away. Then he said to them, Nation will arise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, famines, and pestilence in various places and fearful events and great signs from heaven but before all this there will seize you and persecute you they will hand you over to synagogues and put you in prison and you will be brought before kings and governors and all on account of my name and so you will bear testimony to me but make up your mind not to worry beforehand how you will defend yourselves for I will give you words and wisdom that none of your that not, that, that none of your adversaries will be able to resist or contradict. You will be betrayed even by parents, brothers, and sisters, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. Everyone will hate you because of me, but not a hair on your head will be perished. Stand firm, and you will win life. When you see Jerusalem being surrounded by armies, you will know that it, its desolation is near. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let those in the city get out, and let those in the country not enter the city. For this is the time of punishment in fulfillment. Of all that has been written, how dreadful it will be in those days for pregnant women and nursing mothers. There will be great distress in the land and wrath against this people. They will fall by the sword and will be taken as prisoners to all the nations, Jerusalem will be trampled on by Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand up and lift up your hands, lift up your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. He told them this parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. When they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves and know the summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that the kingdom is, of God is near. Truly I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Be careful of your hearts will be weighed down with corrosing drunkenness and anxieties of life, and that day will close on you suddenly like a trap. For it will come on all those who live on the face of the whole earth. Be always on the watch and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen, and that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. Each day Jesus was teaching at the temple, and each evening he went out to spend the night on the hill called the Mount of Olives. And all the people came early in the morning to hear at the temple. That concludes chapter 21 of the book of Luke. Of the book, uh, the book of Luke. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> Sorry, I got tongue-tied. But uh, 
yeah, we will be back here tomorrow to read another one. We uh, just wanted to uh, welcome you today as we honor our mother and the love that we had for her. You know, we wanted to make her a good Christmas, so we come out here and decorated, decorated her grave and her headstone and gave her candy canes, gave her a Christmas tree and a lantern so she could see in the dark, even though she don't need it because she's in all light. And Louise. And Louise. My, my mother-in-law. Uh, brother yeah. And Louise, uh, my brother's mother-in-law, she's in the hospital right now, so we just ask that uh, everybody that's watching this to just send out prayers and ask the Lord to stand by her and guide her through this. Uh, pestilence, you know, and just protect her and shield her and protect the doctors that's looking after her and just just give her all blessings and, and just continue to pray without ceasing for her. Amen. You know, she means a lot to us and we just ask that, that, that you send out your prayers. Thank and you. And we thank you and may the Lord bless you all. Amen. And we love you. All right. Until next time.